it's early, it's six o'clock, but this is my first Parker Bait social. We're off to Linear B1, me and Emily. Like you say, 6 a.m., time to go. Come on, let's get on the road. Right, that's the peg draw done. Absolutely buzzing. Emily, she went and drew peg nine. A lot of the fish have been coming out nine, 10 and 11. So for us, that is an absolute class draw. Cannot grumble, we should be on some fish. Come on. Peg nine for me, this is my water. Check out the Tempest social cap. Look at the size of that. What a buy that was. Tempest 100 social cap. Me and Emily will get two beds in there. All that space, boom. So first park bait social, drew peg nine. Well done, Emily, fantastic. Um, sorry, I'm in the bivvy at the moment. It is really windy. So I think if I do a bit of a chat out there, you won't be able to hear me at the minute. Claxon's gone a couple of minutes ago. I've gone for a, a 13 foot zig, a 10 foot zig, um, and then a double corn. So I'm just about to mix some bait up. Let's get some bait out. But we have had a bloody nightmare. Got all the way around here. Had to go back all the way around there to fetch beds, obviously, because I bought new beds for me and Emily. Then I had to come all the way back around here, then forgot my distance sticks. So then I had to go all the way back around, big up to Connor. Connor borrowed me a set of his. It's enabled me to get the rods back anyway, and accurately. So yeah. But absolutely buzzing, peg nine. Just gone 12. Parker Bait Social, baby. Let's go. Hammering it down. Dirty pan, coming in the sling. Get in. Absolutely buzzing. So that's it. 30 pan, coming in the sling. Rod's back out on the dance floor. 13 foot zig that one came on. So absolutely buzzing with that. 30 pan common. What a way to start the Parker Bait Social. B1, peg nine, 13 foot black zig. Happy days. Let's get this fish out. Let's do some videos. Get in. First fish for me, Parker Bait Social. Peg nine. 13 foot zig doing the damage. 30 pound common. What an absolute stunner. Absolutely buzzing to be off the mark. Hour and a half in. Linear B1. Let's go. <laughs> yes, man. So, for me and Emily tonight on the menu, we have some southern fried chicken burgers. Check them bad boys out. We've got two each. Obviously, mine's the one with the sauce. Let's get these down and some good grub. Nothing else to report yet on the fishing front. It's a little bit quiet up this end of the lake. There's been two fish out the other end of the lake. Uh, peg one and then opposite peg one. But just the one for me on the zig so far, which I can't complain at. But I'll give you a proper update later. Just after we've had some of this food. Beautiful, nice and hot southern fried chicken burger. Everyone quick update from me Emily's still asleep bless her I got wiped out at 12 lost one at 3 now it's about 6 in the morning and we've just landed one so just about to get the rod back out get back on the spot keep two on there off the bottom as well so just thought I'd give you, update. I'll give you a prop update in a bit I'm just going to get this rod back out but we've had one and it looks a good one so happy days it's like a chunk in the net. First fish of the morning for me. Got wiped out about midnight. Got one, lost one on a zig. But this one ripped off this morning. Six o'clock, 31.12. Absolutely buzzing. Brute of a B1 mirror. Get in there. Let's see if we can get a few more. Beautiful morning here on B1. Look at that. I know obviously B1 don't like a, a flat calm, but it is only seven o'clock. Looks like there's a couple of fish just breaching out there. A couple over my spot look like they're just breaching, but we've got an eight foot zig and then two on the bottom. We've just had a 30, so really can't complain. Two 30s, a 30 and a 31.12. 
great start. And that's just one night down, two to go. Oh, what a beautiful day. This morning's got a whole lot better. 26 resting in the sling. Just about to get some pictures now, some videos. Zigs are now in play. Let's go, let's go, baby. Third fish of the morning for me. 26 on the nose. This one came off a zig, so it might be a bit ziggy now, but it, it has put a worm out in my net, so it must be on the worms too. So I'm gonna get a little bit more bait out. Rod's already back out. See if we can get any more. 32 2. Third one of the session for me. Well, third 30 anyway. <laughs> Absolutely buzzing. Linear fisheries B1. The gift that keeps on giving. Get in. Thirty, thirty-six. Bang on. You're joking. I'm sure. <laughs> oh my god! Five bites for me. Four this morning. It's a PB. Get in. Absolutely buzzing. A foot zig. Thirty-six pound on the nose. Oh, what a vlog this one's going to be. Get in there. Still two nights to go as well. Oh, happy days. Absolutely buzzing. PB for me, 36 pound. Happy days, get in. <laughs> well done, mate. What a nosser. <sighs> Lovely stuff. Check that out for a cheese toasty on the bank. Absolutely. Oh, delicious. A little bit overwhelming. I don't really know what to say at the minute. But just thought I'd check in, give you all a bit of an update. Um, five fish and lost one. Had a PB, but a 36 pounder smashes my 34 to shame. Tactics, I'll go through what I've been using. I have had one off the bottom and then the rest have come off zigs. Uh, bait, my bait mix, I'll mix a batch up. I'll talk you through everything that I'm using. Been a lot of fish out in this park of bait social. The guy next to me, what a moment for him. He had a 45 pounder. That was an absolute monster, it was proper junk, junky. But yeah, that was great to experience that with him being next to me. Um, none of us have got wet yet. Any PBs, we're doing it right at the end. I'll get Emily to video it, even though she's gonna wanna throw a bucket at me. But yeah, so that's just a little update. We just had some dinner. It's just gone one o'clock, I think, or something like that. Um, probably 48 hours-ish to go, just under. You never know what this lake can throw at us. So I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. I'll talk you through what I'm using. But what a vlog this is gonna be. PB for Gav. Parker Bait Social for charity. We got Aaron and Rob running around. <laughs> Catch it up. Here's a bait of three eggs. Come on a bit faster. Oh, mate, faster. I can't go faster. Look like they're dying. <laughs> Just coming into the second night then. Um, yeah, bit of a quiet day. But after that morning with a PB, I cannot complain. So we've just reset the rods. All three back on the spot. We're just starting to get some shows now. So a couple started to lump out. A little bit all over the place in front of me, in front of seven. Um, but yeah, second going into the second night, and if last night's out to go by, last night and this morning, it'll be a good one. So I'll keep you posted if Emily decides to wake up. But yeah, just going into the night now. Come on for a few fish, you never know, I'll be happy with one. Get him, come on. Just coming into the second evening then, just thought I'd show you. We've got a little bit of a chop over that side of the lake, but on our side, we're just off the back of it. Nice and calm. Three rods, light train tracks, all in between. We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. Between that tree and that tree there. So all three of my rods are in there. But yeah, so let's see what the night brings. Fingers crossed for a bite. Morning all. Really uneventful night last night. Not just for me, but for everybody on the lake. 
There was two fish out down in peg 13 and one fish next door to me in seven. And that's it. And there wasn't no massive ones at that. Um, so the big ones seem to have gone to ground at the minute, but we've still got 24 hours, well over 24 hours. Um, it, like you say, we had a good night's sleep, me and Emily. Fell asleep about nine o'clock. I did get wiped out by a trailer. Um, so it took out my left rod, middle rod, so I had to redo two of my rods. But we're up, wind's switched, so we're now coming in towards, which I think is a northern wind, easterly northerly wind, something like that. It's a bit bitter. It's gone very cold considering how it was yesterday and the fish were on yesterday. So just that wind change seems to have just switched them off. But we've put a couple of spawns out. I think I put seven just to get some bait on the spot again. Try and keep it going. I've got two zigs out there and a double corn. So get the morning coffee down me. Just keep an eye on the water. See if we can see anything. And then fiddle about with the zig depths. See if we can pinch a bite. Sorry no more to update you with. But... It's been a hard night, that one. Fish number six in the net. It's been a tw over 24 hours without a bite. And we've just managed to pinch this little one. But it's welcome. Happy days. Fish number six for us. 18.8. Emily's doing the dew here. Yeah, what do you reckon, Em? It's good. So what did we catch it on? Um, a maggot rig on the bottom. Yeah, so fantastic. We just got back from the shop, grabbed a pint of maggots, just put a maggot rig out. It's gone straight away. Yeah. Absolutely buzzing. Well done, babe. Just a bit of a night update going into the night now. They've just started showing on us. So I've redone the middle and the right rod. I've left the seven foot zig out. So I'm going to go on pop up rigs with maggots on top, 15. That's what got me the quick fish earlier. So I put two of them out, I've just spawned some worm and crushed OG fish over the top. A bit of bad spawning from me, they were a little bit right, a little bit left in my spot, but it's, uh, I've only put 10 in, so if they carry on showing and I don't get a bite, I'll give it a couple of hours and put a few more. So it's just coming up to 8 o'clock now, with the clocks going forward. So, but buzzing session so far, I cannot complain. Parker bait social, my first one, it's gone down a tree. See if we can get a few more through the night just to bump the tally up a little bit, that'd be fantastic. But if not, I'm more than happy. But see how tonight goes, see if we can get you some more content. Come on, come on, the Parker Bates. What a sight! Quarter past ten, fish are crashing like crazy over me. There's another one in the net. Get in after sitting on it for a while. This one's turned up 28.8 caught on a little maggot rig but the fish turned up on us just before dark they've been crashing for ages and still crashing out there now so absolutely buzzing oh that's peg 10 going another <laughs> fish on the bank <laughs> oh, oh, it's great. absolutely going off <laughs> happy days get in brother let's get this one back <laughs> I can't. that looks like a right chunk in the net wow couldn't write it. Wow, a bit overwhelmed at the minute. 40 pounder just resting in the sling. My first UK 40, another PB. Yes, mate. <laughs> well done. PB. Well done. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. So, middle rods are just torn off. Just took all three of my rods out, but oh my god. A little bit overwhelmed at the minute. My first UK 40. 40 pound, four ounce. Parker Bates, so Sean B1. What else could I ask for? Mate, absolute absolute brute absolutely buzzing tell you what mate and i'm not just saying this you have worked for that fish this weekend mate you've been on it all weekend yeah. changing seeing a fish acting to it you deserve it mate so well done cheers man and there you go mate that's the other side oh what a belter 
first time holding a 40 and I can tell you now, <laughs> they are not light. <laughs> <laughs> well done oh. mate, let's get this back, let's get out the rain. Still got time for plenty more mate. Yeah man, absolutely oh, no. buzzing. Oh, look at the thickness on that. It's an absolute monster isn't it? Yeah, huge man. He's sulking. Look at that. <laughs> He's slowly ready. That's a moment. Oh wow. my god. <laughs> That's why we do it. There we go. Right, well you've just seen Gavin's just had a PB just over 40 pounds. So in between our little group chat that we've got going around the lake, I um me and Ben Put up for two flat spots and a tub of hook baits on the next fish. And not only has he won that, also for having a fish over 40 pounds, he's also won another tub of hook baits, another flat spot. So that's three flat spots and two hook baits. And we can't forget about the two kilo of bait as well. So let's go take it to him. We put a bounty on the next fish, which was two flat spots, mate. Thank you very much. And a tub of hook baits. Sweet. And then not only did he have the next fish, he also had Fish over 40. Another flat spot there, mate. <laughs> Another tub of hook baits. Wow. And two kilo, mate. That's Save awesome. some money on your next order, <laughs> wouldn't it? <laughs> Thank you very much. But now, nah, mate, he's worked his ass off this weekend. Oh. Excuse my language, but he has done so well. Amazing. Watching him on the other side and got what you put in, mate, eh? Yeah. So awesome. Can't shake your hand, mate, but you've done well. <laughs> and Thank you very much. I'm going to get back to bed because I'm tired. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> what could I say? My first Parker Bait social, PB smashed out of the park twice. Wow, oh wow, 40 pounder. <sighs> Look at this for a morning. What a beautiful morning. A few more hours left, I'm gonna start slow pack down. Fingers crossed, you never know for another one, but what an absolute unbelievable morning. So still a little bit overwhelmed with that 40 pounder, but I'm going to talk you through what I did to catch it. A B140, absolutely buzzing with it, cracking fish, and my first UK 40. But anyway, so what I did was I take some worm, I put it into my landing net because I haven't got a worm griddle. I then get all the soil out, and um, so it's just the worm itself. Put that into a bait tub. We then go drop at it. Bam, 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 in there with the scissors. Chop them up, get all that goodness out of them. Chop, 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 chop. Only a handful to start off with. Then the OG fishing crush. Half a scoop of that. Add another half a scoop to that. I'd like to make around about six to 10 spawns. Because as soon as I've made it, it's going out. With worms, to keep them fresh, the best way, take them out of the bag, chop them, spot them clean your bucket afterwards so there's no contamination but yeah so mix in a little bit of flat spot moisten it all up a little bit and um, add the flat spot as and when I think it needs it but yeah and that is the mix so that is what did me a 40 crush boily flat spot scopex flat spot and chop worm absolutely buzzing again to share it on the Parker Bait social, the lads come round, yeah, it was really nice. But happy days. It's so a little backstory to what did me that fish as well was the rig. Me and Emily went to the shop, we had a shower and um, sorted ourselves out, and there was one pint of white maggot left in the fridge. So we looked at each other and says, Should we go for it? It's like, Yeah, go on then, let's do it. Let's put a maggot rig out, see what happens. So we got the last pint of white maggots, come back. 
and I made this. Not sure how well you can see it, but that is a spinner rig made up of OMC with the devastating lock hook. Always the lock hook for me. Absolutely every single pattern, zigs, spinner, D-rig, the lock hook goes out for me. Um, yeah, so it's a little Parker Bates 12 mil pop-up OG fish and then I've tipped it with 15 white maggots and that is what's done me a 40 pounder on B1. That rig, simple but very, very effective. <laughs> Ready for the presentation? Parker Bates social on B1 and we are going to get soaked. We are going to book it. This is going to be bad. <laughs> This is really not going to go well at all. Yeah, look at the gorilla bucket. Oh no, that's going to be bad. I think Jim should get that one, but oh, not ending well. We're getting wet. It's getting wet. Hey. Oh, 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 How did that feel? Wet. It just takes your breath away. It's just bang. <laughs> did you enjoy soaking him? Yeah. 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 yeah.